We've um, invited past player Ben Nelson and Dave Reynolds. Dave is also on the board as well. So um, Nelly's going to have a quick chat, I guess, in general about the jumper, the, the baggy blue, and the club. And then we'll do the presentation for the players. So Nello, I think 927, you said, is that right? Well, we've got, we'll roll A long time ago. We'll roll that. Right. And Red's 871, I can see on his hat. So um, yeah, jump up, Nello, have a quick chat. Thanks, mate. Boys, thanks. I know you're a bit toey, you're ready to go, so I won't uh, be too long with you, but um, what a great honour it is to start a new season, start afresh. What you guys did at the back end of last year was exciting. And I know from what I'm hearing around the traps, you've been working your absolute butts off. And um, I think, um, you know, for me as a junior, to the, I can see a lot of juniors in the room here. Um, it was just trying to earn your stripes, earning respect by the way you worked and you looked up. We had some great leaders. And, Chris Threadgold and Geds and Ruthie Lennon and all these blokes around us. That's a big help, but you know, starting from under 14s all the way through to not being too much uh, older than young Nick Sadler here, playing his first game at the same age. And I'll never forget my first game here was a guy called Doug Clark, who was the medical officer, property steward, presented me with the same number of games as what my old man wore. And um, it was just such a special moment to see a tear in Dougie's eye. I'll never forget that. Um, just the people around the club is what made it such a special time for us um, coming through the, the ranks. And, and then I guess by the time we hit our mid-20s or there was you know, opportunities after playing a few games, um, leadership opportunities became available and um, it was just a different way. It was about earning sort of respect from the younger guys, getting them to play to the, and train to a certain standard. And, and we had a lot of fun. Um, I think the harder we worked, the more fun we had. And I think that was um, a real value that I tried to drive in terms of just everyone um, giving, to, giving of themselves to the team and playing their role on match day, but, um, but also making them accountable. At the same time, plenty of banter in the change rooms and having a bit of fun. And um, you know, we watch from afar with great interest. Um, you know, 15 years in over 100 year history, I hope you guys become to, whether it's AFL aspirations or coming back from the AFL, I've always thought, even though, and Moose is probably the same, even though there's a little bit of a AFL experience to it, it was always my home, um, always my passion and always my priority. And uh, I guess if you blokes as a group right now can make it your priority, you know, socially, hang together, together on the track, work really hard together, push each other, um, support each other when stuff can sometimes go wrong, injury, whatever, recovering from injury like Tommy has and coming back bigger and better, um, you will remember as you get old like us how much effort you put in you will value it when you get older I guarantee so, good luck tonight get off to a good start Batsy lead the crew out there folks and uh, all the best especially the debutants Red will talk about them but well done boys your first game you will always remember that first kick however it goes you might make a few blues or whatever on that first time but just keep having a crack your confidence um, will come from just having a go don't, don't sit back and wait you're there for a reason. Well done, boys. All the best. Good work, Nello. Um, uncharacteristically, I'll keep this short as short as I can. Um, there, there has been 1,273 great men in double blue that have preceded the four debutants tonight, which is a fantastic and significant element of our club that started in 1901. Um, it's also fantastic that the four of you are debuting tonight and let's hope that you'll be able to carry that bond through to when you notch up 50 and 100 games in 100 might be five or six or seven seasons away and it might seem a long time but it can actually go just like that. You four guys are wrapped around with some fantastic teammates tonight. Um, old, some, some old heads and some young heads and some great skills. So, all I think if Marty's asking of the four of you is play your game, don't try and do anything else, uh, and enjoy it. Um, it'll go in a flash. And so uh, uh, on behalf of uh, all the past players, um, it's an honour for me as 871 to congratulate the four debutants tonight and wish you all the very, very best.
Yeah.